Now you see an awful lot of booby patterns. <clears throat> they tend to be bright coloured things, um, proper in your face lures. However, there's a few nymphy versions. There's um, there's quite a few out there, but I think probably one of the most famous is the bejesus. Although nobody seems to use it now, it's a very good fly. It's a damsel pattern, uh, created by one of my mates, Big Richard Slater. However, this one, um, when it comes to realistic looking boobies, this is the one that's done the most damage for me. And I was in a boat a long time ago, fishing the angling water competition, with my big mate from Orkney, Ken Kennedy, class outfit. And this was the fly that he showed me, so I'm going to call this the Orkney Hair's Ear Booby. Um, I've tweaked it a little bit, but no an awful lot at all, actually. Um, it's no very far from the original. So let's go ahead and tie it. I've got here a, a B175 size 10 or any competition heavyweight. Any wet fly size 10. Light Cahill thread. <clears throat> and I'm just going to come on and create a, a bed of thread here. Stopping at a point opposite the barb. And my scissors. And I've got this stuff. I use it a lot. Uh, light bright. And the one I'm looking for is gold. Gold light bright. And all I do is I take a small hank of it. Just a small hank and roll it in my fingers. Doubling it over. You can use um, flash, sort of manufactured flash. However, this light um, angel here just seems to be so much better. It's not as stiff, it's just a little bit more mobile. And all I'm going to do is gash that in. This is going to be my tag. Stopping at a point opposite the barb. Any stray fibers up here? I'm just got to tidy these out of the way. And then come in, and you just want quite a short tail. There you go. Now what you have to do with light bright, and because it's a competition fly, just brush it, make sure there's no stray like that. There's a stray fibre there. You don't want that. So that's our tail. And then because we don't want a lot of weight in there, I've got super fine <coughs> diameter copper wire. And I just need a little bit of that. I'm going to tie this in. What I could do to do here is tidy this bump behind the eye because that's where my booby eyes are going to go. So I'm just going to tidy that just now so it's out of the way. So back up to where you've caught in the, the wire. And I've got this stuff. Stickle, gr stickle dub, tan grey. And again, my gold light bright. And all I'm going to do is do a small pinch of the natural tan, just enough to dub the body on. And then the same again, a few wee pinches of the gold light bright. Not an awful lot at all. And I just mix that up in the hairs here. Just get up in between your fingers and pull it, push it together. And then with the the finger, your, your index finger, just roll the ball in the palm of your hand. I'm just rolling that in the palm of my hand there, if you can see. And then what you get is, here's your a tiny little flecks of gold through it. And then we just dub this. A thinnish rope, but certainly a tight rope. I could have got the wire there, I'm going to pull some of the fibres out. And just come up and dub the body tiny tiny bit more tiny give yourself a little bit of space like so in with your dubbing brush mark is velcro just pull some of the fibers see some of the gold there and then we're just going to come up in the opposite direction with the copper wire. I always take a turn around the tail, just locks everything in place. So there's one, two, 
three, four, five. We're going to be scared to have it quite close together because we're going to pull more fibers out. So we want quite a tight. Rib, take that off. A couple of secure turns, and again, pull out some of these fibers. Really nice, buggy looking. Could be this thing. And then I've got here some partridge. And the way to do this properly is I'll just take all the <clears throat> the stub ends away. Now, because I'm going to wind it that way, I'm going to take the feather off on the top. So just take all these fibres. I don't want a great big um, come off. I don't want a great big bulky hackle. I want it thin. Because I want it thin, just one side. So, just come in, catch that in on top of the hoop chunk there. Pull your fibers back, and then come with your scissors. And then we just got to wind this in touching turns ever so gently up, creating a, a sparse hackle, not a thick hackle, which you would have got with. Um, which you would have got with two the fibres on either side of the feather. Tighten up my hackle pliers. And again, spread them round. Just round the hook shank like so. And then secure with your thread. See how that's looking. And you're happy with the display of feathers. Like I say, this wants to be like a uh, a wet fly. So I'm not happy with that. I split the feather. So we'll get another feather in there. I want to keep this nice and neat. So again, I've got a spare feather here, <coughs> just in case. Just as well, really, because we needed it. And then... Pull the fibres away from the top side. That's better. A thicker, I've got a thicker stem to play with now. So, again, catching by the tips. A couple of turns. And we'll just trim this away. Trim the tips away. Couple of turns. One. Splay the feather back as you go. Two. Splay that feather. That's it there. And then just work off with a thread drop. That's better. Give me your scissors and trim the the partridge there. That's better. You see it's cloaking the fly now. You can then just tidy it up, sort your fibres back, and just tidy up by creating a taper. Like so. Again, if you need if needs be, you just come in with your brush, tidy everything up, brush everything out. Nice and tidy. <coughs> I've then got this uh, booby cord. And it's small, it's four mil, and I've got some eyes here that are pre-shaped. I'm not gonna put the what I want is I won't put the eyes in this one, I'll just do it as is. So there's the tiny little pellet. And I just get it right in the middle, cut the wraps, make sure you're happy, it's in the center, and then tighten your thread. So you can see there the booby eyes. 
Let's pull that a little bit more tight. It's fiddly, but it's worth it this way. So you get a nice even. You want to see that there? See them there? Get an even set of booby eyes, and then just wind them on until they lock in place, like that. So that's them locked in. And then all we do is we come up through the middle. One, pull down tight. Two, pull down tight. Three. And then we've got to do the same on the other side, just to level everything up. One. Two. Three. Like so. So you've got your little booby eyes, perfect. In the middle, you're happy. Now all we do is we pull the eyes back away from the eye, a couple of locking turns, and then in with the whip finishing tool. Again, pulling the eyes back so they're out of the way to whip finish. Tighten it all up. And there's your perfect little Orkney. Here's your booby. That one without eyes. I'll just quickly show you the other with eyes. Um, so you get an idea of how these things look either side. There he is. Orkney booby. Um, I think that part of the charcoal is just a little bit darker. It's just such a nice little fly. Um, works everywhere. Very good on the weed beds. Very good at the back end of the year, late summer, in the winter. Um, one that works really well in the point fly. Uh, like washing line with a couple of nymphs. But to be fair, it fishes well on its own as well on a floater. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.